Hey, today, what I want to share with you is how to find your perfect customer, your target market, your avatar. Probably the most important thing you can be doing is trying to find who are you going to market to. And if you're anything like me, when I first got started, I thought I was marketing to everybody. Well, that's not true. See, you are going to talk to somebody specifically, and I'm going to help put that together with you. So there's actually three areas of marketing. One is wealth, one is health and wellness, and one is relationships. And inside all of those, there is a specific group of people that you want to be targeting. So I'm going to help with that. I'm going to head over to my computer. I'm going to see you right there. As I said earlier, the, one of the most important things you should be doing is finding your target market or finding your best customer. And it's also called an avatar. And the reason I say this is when I first got in business and, and maybe you even feel this little bit about this about you, I felt I was selling to everybody. I mean, everybody needed my product. Everybody needed my business. But in all reality, you're selling to a few select people. You're targeting down on who you really want to speak to. And then when you speak to that person, you're speaking to them on social media and on ads and whatever else you can be seen. But I'll go through that as we get through. So this is your empathy map. An empathy map is just talking about your perfect customer. What does he think and feel? What does he see? What does he gain? What is the pain? What does he or she feel here? So as I go through this, I'm going to ask you some different questions about see, see your avatar. When I first got started, I didn't know this. See, your avatar is really a replica of you. It's a replica of me. So the more you're honest with yourself in these questions I'm going to ask, the more you'll understand your prospects. So now let's think about our ideal customers and prospects. So you aren't going to sell to everybody. You aren't going to sell every product. See, there's three major markets. There is wealth, there is health and wellness, and there are relationships. Now, I personally market in wealth area. I help build people build businesses. But at the same time, I could find a health product and I could be marketing to them too. So I, I, you can have different avatars. You can have different target markets. It all depends what you're marketing at that time. <clears throat> These are the questions you need to ask, and not only about the person, but more, you know, think about, and as I said earlier, think about this many times. This is the person that's close to you. See, so what does he or she think and feel about the environment? Do they like the environment that they're in? Do they feel safe in it? Is it a, an environment of uh, where they should be? Or is it a nervous place? What about their friends? Are their friends positive? Are they negative? Are they bringing them down? Are they, uh, they, can you talk to your friends about your business or are they trying to talk you out of it? And then what are the worries and aspirations? Right? Do you think you can actually do this? What are your big goals? See, when you, when you see these things, just really dig in and answer them. So here's the next group of questions. What does he or she see? You know, what is really counts? You know, what really matters in their life? Is it money? Is it relationship? Is it time freedom? Is it financial freedom? What are the major preoccupations? Maybe it's our current job. You know, they work too hard, too long. Hard to build a business without it. And what the market offers. I mean, what could they be selling? You know, what is their passion? What could really help? So it, again, as you, as I print, present these questions, I want you to use this form and write all these answers down to this. The next one is, what does he or she say and do? What is their attitude in public? I mean, do they come across like they're confident or like, woe is me or, man, nobody's going to buy from me because. What about appearance? Do they look professional? 
Do they slouch? Do they look like they're on a path to success or a path to failure? And then behaviors to others. Are they happy when other people have success? Do they congratulate other people? Uh, do they have an a attitude of gratitude towards people? Again, start digging. Start answering some of these things. And then what does he or she feel? What do the friends say? Ah, there's no way that you can do this. Ah, are you in one of those pyramid things? What does your boss say? Oh, man, you can't be doing that. How dumb can you be? You'll never be making it in business. You know, I'm just putting thoughts in your head. What about influencers? And we all have influencers. You're, you're your mentors, whether they're online and uh, are, they, are they positive? Do they like the company? Do they like what you're doing? Are they saying things that keep you going? I mean, all these are questions that you need to ask yourself. Now, what are the pain? What are their fears? That's a big one. All right, what are their frustrations? Are they afraid they can't do it? Are they frustrated that they cannot make this happen, that they don't have enough money, they don't have enough time, their spouse isn't helping them? What are their obstacles? Could it be uh, a limiting belief in this, that they aren't good enough, that they, their spouse won't let them do it, that it, it's time is an obstacle, uh, family is an obstacle, all these things. Dig into that pain because what we're going to do is try to find a solution for that. And then what is the game? What are their wants and needs? Truly, what are their wants and needs? What do, do they want time freedom? Do they want financial freedom? Do they want to be known that they actually did this? Do they want to prove to themselves? Do they want to prove to their family? And the measures of success, how are they going to measure success? Is it cars, homes, money? Maybe it's just a plaque. Maybe the measure of success is somebody saying, great job. And what are the obstacles to these gains? Again, these obstacles get in the way. See, all the time when we start finding who that customer is, who that perfect avatar is, who our target market is, what we're trying to do is we're going to write all the answers to these questions. And what we're going to do is come back and find out what their pains are, their problems are, their struggles are. And then we're going to find solutions. That's how this works. So this is your assignment. After all these questions, I think you got to answer these questions. Go through and answer. And then what you do is come down here. And I want you to write a day in the life. Give your avatar a name, a life, and write out their typical day from the moment they open their eyes to the moment they close them at night. Incorporate internal and external dialogue from themselves and other, and incorporate all the senses. Now, what I mean by that, see, my avatar, one of my avatars, is a guy by the name of John, married, a couple kids, has a pretty good job, his wife has a pretty good job, Kids are in sports, but their kids are in high school and getting ready for college. And John is afraid. He's frustrated. See, because he doesn't make enough money to help pay for that college. So their kids are going to have a bunch of school debt. They live paycheck to paycheck. They don't take the trips they want to. He's mad. Man, because he's not living the life he's supposed to. Feels like he's a loser. Knows he has to do something else and knows it's not a part-time job. But he doesn't know what to do. Doesn't think he's smart enough to do it. See, you got to dig something like that in defining your target market. What age group, right? What's their education? You know, what are their aspirations? And when you find that out, that's who you start marketing to. See, when I start writing content, I write content with John in mind, with John and his wife in mind, mm -hmm. with his kids in mind. You know, what are they thinking? What are they feeling? And I start telling stories about that. 
See, it doesn't have to just be in, in ads. This is in social media content I put out. So that's your goal. It's find your target market. The age area, financial area they're in, what they're searching for. Uh, it doesn't matter which of the markets they're in, whether it's wealth, health and wellness, or personal relationships. Dig deep so you can find that target market. I'm going to give a link to this training, to this PDF, so you can grab it, you know, download it, and write it out for yourself. But if you truly, if you talk to any of the top marketers, this is one of the top things they did, was they find their target market, their best customer, their avatar, before they start marketing. So I hope you got value out of that. Please take this as being important and finish this exercise. Cool. We'll see you on the next module.